first thing we're going to do is sew all of our pieces right sides together. So our band, we'll fold it right side together and we'll sew down the short end. Same thing with our neck band. Same thing with our sleeves. We'll sew right here on both sleeves. For our over shirt and our under shirt, we'll sew them at the shoulder seams and then we'll sew them at the side seams. We are going to sew all of the pieces that we can right sides together because it's fast and efficient. So I'm gonna start with my sleeves. Turn your undershirt right side out. Turn your band right side out. Mark the side opposite of the seam with a pin. So here's my seam, here's my pin. Turn your neck band right side out and fold it wrong sides together. This is also folded wrong sides together. Mark 180 degrees out, also the exact opposite side of the seam with a pin. Turn the hem of your overshirt up and also the sleeves. Next, you're gonna sew the hems in place and you'll also sew the band on. So, to position the band, line the side seams up, right sides together, pin or clip it in place. and then line up the opposite side and the other side seam and pin or clip that in place. You'll want to sew the band on with a serge or a zigzag. You'll want to sew your hems with either a zigzag or a cover stitch machine. Here I am at the serger and I'm going to sew my band on. I'll start at one seam and work my way around, gently stretching the band as needed. We're gonna work on our neckband next. So turn both the overshirt and undershirt right side out. And now we're going to insert the undershirt into our overshirt. Line up the shoulder seams and make sure that the shoulder seam of the overshirt is towards the back and the seam of the undershirt is going towards the front. This makes for a less bulky seam. Now that you have them together, you're going to fold the shirt in half to find center front and center back. I'm marking my center back with a pin going through both layers of fabric. In center front with a pin going through both layers of fabric. Next, I'm going to take my neck band and the back seam. I will line up the Seam of the neckband, I'll line up with the back of my shirt. So right sides together, line the seam up, seam up to the mark, and now I'm going to replace it with a clip. Make sure your band's not twisted, and then line up the front. Make sure when you clip, you're clipping through all four layers of fabric. Next, we'll go over to the machine and we'll sew it. We're gonna sew our neck band in place starting at the center back and gently stretching the neck band as needed from center back to center front.
Next, we're going to sew the sleeves on. So let's find the opposite side of the seam of the sleeve by laying it flat and putting a pin on the opposite side of the seam. Next, we'll turn our shirt inside out. And we'll insert one of the sleeves inside. I'm gonna line up the seam with the seam, the side seam of the shirt. Next, I will line up that halfway point, the opposite side with the shoulder seam. Make sure that your seams for your shoulder are still going in the correct directions. Now we'll repeat on the other sleeve. Now that they're pinned in place, let's take them over to the machine and sew them. I'm going to sew my sleeves on, and when I start, I'll start at the side seam. And with the sleeve sewn on, this concludes this version of the Warren Avenue top. The Warren Avenue top includes so many different options that once you get familiar with how to sew those options, you can mix and match them to create totally new and different looks. So I thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.